everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build we went sci-fi when we built the Z6 Riot Control Stun Baton from Star Wars and it was crazy awesome. Uh, and if you missed it, we're going to include the link in the description below to our channel's homepage so you can go over there and check out Z6 uh, Riot Control Baton or any of the other cool builds there. Now for this build, we're going to go video game. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> wow, check that thing out. Dig that. It is the Broiler's Hook from Dota 2. That's right. Look at that thing, man. Super jamming. We've got the cool handle. It's kind of dirty. It's got a couple tones of red in there, so it looks a little bit grimy. Um, a lot of cylinders in here. Did some crazy shaping to get this kind of like diamond shaped sort of a blade. Um, really easy paint job too. Um, we even went in here and did a little bit of a gradation from like yellow into orange here for like the glow and then here on the tip also. But uh, super easy man. Super easy build. Super easy paint job. Uh, so in this episode, Making an EVA Foam Broiler's Hook Part 1, we're going to begin going step by step through how to make it. Um, and if you want to build along with us, we have a template for this, so we'll include the link in the description below to our storefront. So if you want to go pick up a template, you can. If you don't, don't want to, that's cool too. Um, just kick back and check it out. Um, so that's it. If you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, here we go. Here's where we start the uh, broiler's hook. We've got an inch and a half thick piece of foam that's 36 millimeter. We're going to knock this out on both the band saw and the scroll saw, and then we're going to shape it. All right, check it out. Cool. All right, now we're going to have to do some kind of crazy shaping on here, all right? So we've got our center mark drawn. Let's bring it over to this side, do the same thing. All right, there we go. Now we've got the middle mark on both of those sides. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a center line down this side and down this side. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take out our smooth bit, we're going to put in our super rough bit. Gloves on, dust mask on, don't be a dum dum. Never dremel and create dust without a dust mask on. All right, here to here, just like this, a diamond shape. All right, that is how we're going to shape our blade, right there. All right, you ready? Now, what we can do first is we can start by taking our box cutter and we'll cut the bulk of it off. Okay, be very careful. Okay, now we're coming towards our hand, so we're going to move our hand over to this side to get out of the way. We're just taking part of the corner off. Saves us some dremeling time. There we go, just like that. We're just gonna do it all the way around the whole piece. Get it started, do not go real fast towards your hand. Okay, there we go. All right, we've loosely shaped it out. Now we're gonna come in with our Dremel. All right, and we're gonna tear it up. Okay, now what we got to do first is we have to finish our line here so we know what we're going to. Right down the center like that. Holy cow, 
that's why you wear a dust mask. All right, check this out. We are close to getting this thing shaped out. All right, pretty cool. Let's keep going. Holy cow, look at that thing, man. That is a diamond-shaped hook right there. Pretty darn cool. Wow. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's come in now with our smooth bit and let's clean it up. All right, now we're gonna come in and we're gonna clean up the tip of this thing just a little bit. All right, there we go. Man, we have made a mask, but it looks sweet, sweet, awesome. Check that out. All right, we're gonna come in with our 220 sanding stick. And we're gonna smooth it out a little bit more than we already have it. Now we're gonna come in with our 320 and we're gonna take it one step further. All right, that is pretty darn smooth, diamond shaped, very cool. All right, now we're stopping, man. We're gonna clean the shop up. It looks like it's snowed in here, but the snow is black. It is everywhere, all right? Again, wear a dust mask, man. Do not mess around with this. All right, let's stop. We're gonna clean up, we'll be back in a bit. Cleaned up. Now we're going to seal this. All right, there we go. Look at that. That is a nice sealed sculpted piece of foam. Look at that, man. Wow. Okay, next we're going to tackle this 48 millimeter piece of foam. That's two inches thick. That's a big, thick piece of foam. We're going to cut this outer shape on the scroll saw and the band saw. Okay, now this cut is finished. We did the top cut. Now we need to do the side cut. So we took our pattern. We line the front edge of this up with the front edge of here so we know that that little front hook thing is in the right place and we traced our line. And we're gonna send this through the saw, but we don't want it wobbling on us. So we're gonna bring in this piece that was part of the original cut. And what we're gonna do is what you've seen us do before. We're going to put a piece of double stick tape down and we're going to line this up right where we cut it off of, just like that. We taped it together. Now we've got this nice flat bottom. So when we send it through the saw, it's not gonna rock on us. All right, so let's go and cut this out on the band saw and the scroll saw. All right, there we go. Now let's take our piece off that we Double stick tape. Now, look at that cool piece right there. Wow, that's jamming. All right, now. Okay, now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut a little tiny piece off of the front of here. Okay, we, okay, we know that that is our angle we need to cut right there. 
Okay, perfect. Now this angle that we cut right here will match up with this angle right here. So when we slide this base to this base, this little wedge is gonna fit right in here perfectly, just like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece we cut, we drew a center line, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it from here right to that corner like that, and the same thing here. We're gonna cut it from here right to that corner right there, okay? Because we want this to come up to a peak in the middle. All right, let's bring in enough wedges to where we can get this raised up high enough, just like that, and now we're gonna cut it. Just like that. Just like that. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna get our Dremel out. We're gonna clean off these little edges right here. Let's get our 220 out. Let's smooth it just a little bit. Oh, that is nice. Wow, very cool. Now we'll come in with our 320. Just to... All right, there we go, look at that. Nice, comes to a peak now on the front. It's nice and rounded. So you saw how we did that. We did our top cut, then we laid it over, we did our side cut, and then we trimmed off the edges and we shaped it. All right, there we go. Now you know the drill. Let both sides completely dry and then the cement can make contact. Make sure we get good contact down here at the front on both sides. There we go. And then right there. So now we know, oh, that's sweet. Oh, wow, is that cool. Look at that. We got perfect contact down here in the corner and all the way around the base. Wow, it's got that nice shaped front. Okay, now that was the hardest part of the whole thing. So from now on, piece of cake. Shaping it was the hardest part and you saw it wasn't even that hard, man. Take your time and you can easily do this. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Dremel out. We're just gonna lightly round this edge because we don't want a square edge. Let's seal that raw edge. Beautiful. Nice, smooth, round edge instead of the square edge. Want to make sure we don't get these confused. So we've got all the front section, okay? Here was F1 for the front piece number one. And then here comes F2, F3, and F4. Okay, we'll start with F2. That's the piece that's gonna come right off of the back of here. Now we want it a little bit thicker than this piece, so we're gonna wrap this with a piece of foam. Okay, we're gonna take this 36 millimeter dowel, which is an inch and a half, and we're gonna wrap it with a little bit of foam just to get it a little bit thicker. Okay, what we're going to do is we're gonna cut a little piece off so we can do a test measurement so we know how long our wrap needs to be. Right there. And now we are roughly right there. Okay, so make our mark here and here. Now we know that's the proper length. Now we're gonna slightly tip our knife because you know we, we like to have a bevel on the end of a wrap. Helps us make contact. Tip our blade. Okay, now we have a bevel on both sides. So when it wraps around, it helps us connect. All right, there we go. Perfect, give it a minute, we'll do one at a time. Let this... Now let's go ahead and set this down right down the center. This... Coming around, oh, that's gonna be perfect.
Okay, now we're going to bring it in. We're going to touch our seam together right there. Look at that. That is perfect. That, again, is a good example of why you do a test measurement and why you cut a bevel on the end. It helps it really match up together really nice with the bevel cut. And after we get our seam together, we push it down like that to anchor it. And look at that beautiful seam. And we'll come in with the Dremel and we'll get that wood or the glue residue off of there. And then you just keep doing it. All right, there we go. Wrapped with a four millimeter dowel. Beautiful. All right, let's seal it. All right, here's our template right here for our F2. That shows the angles that we want to cut this thing on. All right, just like that. All right, there's our angles right there. So let's go over to the bandsaw and let's knock these off. All right, there we go. There's our angles we cut. We're going to use our little line there to line it up to make sure that we're exactly where we were when we traced our line. Now we're not going to drop it down. We're going to spin it around, make sure that we're in a good spot every step of the way. And right there. Okay, that's looking pretty darn good right there. All right, there we go. Same thing as the other one, just take your time, line the seam up real nice and tight. All right, there we go, perfect. Front three, there we go. Oh, sorry, mistake. There's four right there, look at how that's gonna go together. Now we're gonna do Number three, F3, that goes right in the middle and attaches, all right? We'll do that next. All right, here's a leftover piece of 10 millimeter foam we had in our scrap bin. Perfect to fit the F3 piece on there. All right. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Pretty rounded. That's not bad. Smooth rounded edge. Now that's going to come in and go right on there and look sweet. There we go. Perfect. Let's make a mark and stick that down. Line our Sharpie mark up. Make sure we're centered inside where we drew our line right there. Look at that crazy thing, man. It's all janky and bent up. But it's cool. Wow. Really neat and super easy. Okay, now we're going to move to the back section. All right, we've got the whole front section done. We got F1, the blade, F1 through F4. All right, now we're going to begin doing the back section, which is going to be the letter B. So we're going to start here at the front part of the back section with B1. All this will be B2 and B3. All right, so let's cut B1 and B3 out of this 10 millimeter foam. All right, there we go, B1 and B3. 
All right, we have a 24, a 16, and another 24. So this is an inch thick, an inch thick, and three quarters. 16. Whoa. All right, there we go. We've got all these pieces cemented. Let's let them dry. And we'll stick them all together. All right, so definitely need one of the big power tools for this one because we cannot cut through something this deep. So we're gonna go over to the scroll saw and knock it out. Holy smokes, man. Woo, check that out. Could not have been done without the band saw. Wow, couldn't even fit it under the scroll saw. It was a little bit too big. Right, let's do a test wrap just to make sure that we've got a good length and there is our end all right so we know that's how long our piece is let's check here and here all right. slight bevel right there okay now straight cuts on both here there we go Okay, that looks perfect, all right? So we're gonna take our brass tube and we're gonna poke out the ends of each one of these. All right, there we go, just like that. Okay, we're gonna poke out the ends. Okay, then we're gonna come in and we're gonna line up from the edge of one circle to the edge of the other circle. Just like that. We're going to spin it around. We're going to do it on this side too. Edge of circle to edge of circle. There it goes. Look at that. Mighty nice. All right, we're going to do that to all the rest of these now. All right, there we go. Perfect. We've got all these cool little leftover rivets. Now let's keep two of them and I'll show you why. All right, here's the center right there. Okay, while that's drying, we're going to come in here with a little tiny bit of super glue. All right, here we go. Get your little rivet wet. And we're going to bring it right up here to this front piece right there. We're going to hold up all the bonds. That's it. Do the same thing on this side, right over here on the front near the corner. Two little rivets. We'll line it up at the front. Now we're going to line up our front edge here as we roll. All right, just now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to line up our front edge down here as we... Let's see what we got here. Oh, beautiful. Now we're getting the ends cemented because they're going to make contact. There we go. Beautiful seam. All right, there we go. Beautiful, look at that. Now oh, that's beautiful. Let's seal it. Holy cow. All right, there we go. Look at that. Nice. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna round off the edges of B1 and B3. All right, there we go. Slightly softened edge. Let's seal it. Right there. There's one. All right, and then here's one on this side. Right there.
we're going to line up our mark, but then we're not going to stick it down. We're going to come around to this side. There we go. That's a big, chunky, cartoony sort of a deal right there. All right. And we are right where we want to be. Let's line our mark up. And before we stick the rest down, let's spin around, make sure we're right in the middle where we want to be, right where our Sharpie mark is. Perfect. Good grief, man. Wow. That thing is cool. Okay, here we go. Here's a 10 millimeter piece for our next piece, which is B4. Same thing we've always done. We're going to round the edge off. There we go. Now this B5, which is our 36 millimeter dowel, is gonna come in and go right on the end of there like that for the handle. Sweet. All right, well that dries. We're going to come in with B6, which is going to be the next piece after this. So let's let that dry. Let's go. Let's match our lineup right there. And before we stick it down, let's come around the other side, make sure we're in a good spot. And we are. All right, there we go. Nice. Nice. Crazy. All right, wow. Super easy. We almost got the whole thing built in one episode. Uh, we've got everything done on here except this little end piece and the wrap around the handle. So you saw how we did a lot of circle cutting. We cut some funky angles to get this kind of janky thing happening here. And you saw the dremeling uh, that we've done many times before to taper stuff up to a peak. We tapered the top to a peak, the bottom to a peak, got our tip at the end pretty good. Not bad. Really easy techniques to, to accomplish that. Um, you could totally nail this. Uh, the rest of this has been really easy and super fun. Um, so that pretty much concludes making an EVA foam broiler hook part one. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.